Now, sometimes in the WWE, there is shock, there is amazement, there is awe, there is releases, there is firings, there's injuries. There's a lot of different things that happen in the WWE. Sometimes you get fired, sometimes you get the pink slip. There's a lot of different variables that go into making the WWE what it is. And sometimes you have to face the good times, the bad times, the uphill slopes. Uh, sometimes you have to overcome, and sometimes there is just something so awe and beloved. And this is what we're talking about in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, because according to those that know the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, in a cataclysmic update that I can't even begin to wrap my head around, I cannot believe this is happening. I can't believe this is going down. Um, we are in the Triple H era. We just had an amazing week of WrestleMania and Raw and SmackDown, and we have the Bloodline absolutely just blowing up within themselves. And now we got this, ladies and gentlemen, after a high, high week. And believe me, it has been a high week. From Vince McMahon selling his last stocks to now what we're about to report, you're going you're gonna to be absolutely floored in amazement with what we're about to bring to you in WWE News. Remember to sign up to become a channel member, subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. But ladies and gentlemen, hit my intro, because after my intro is all said and done, you are not going to believe what I have to bring to each and every one of you. Hit my intro. Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Now, there are some releases in the WWE that we saw coming that we didn't want to happen. That we thought might happen. We, we, there's some stars and names that we thought was going to be on the chopping block. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is about as amazing of a release as you can get. Not amazing in a good way, though. Because, ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, that being the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, WWE's longest tenured employee, Sue Adjigan, has been released. Sue, the recipient of the 2019 WWE Hall of Fame Warrior Award, a Warrior Award and the longest tenured employee at World Wrestling Entertainment has bid farewell to the company. According to PW Insider, multiple sources have confirmed her departure, stating that she was let go. A fixture at WWE for over 38 years, Sue joined the organization in 1986 and held the role of Director of, Commuter, of Community Relations. Um, she, now, news of her departure sent shockwaves throughout the WWE community, signaling the end of an era. While her role may have diminished in recent years, she remained a cornerstone of the company with a legacy behind the scenes that is unlikely to be uh, uh, matched. As WWE navigates through a period of transition, Sue's departure marks the end of a chapter in the company's storied history, leaving behind a legacy of compassion and dedication that will endure for years and years to come. Again, she was WWE's longest tenured employee released and let go from the company. Absolutely devastating, uh, traumatic. Um, you know, I don't know if this was a partial release. I don't know if she wanted this to happen. I don't know if she expected this. I don't know if she anticipated this. But this has sent shockwaves through Sean's view, through the WWE. And you might say, who's Sue? Never heard of her. Look her up. Search her up. Do your history on her because obviously she is a rich enshrined name in the WWE. And this comes at a very trying time. And But also at a time of momentum, a time of ratings, a, a time of a surge. So there's a lot of different ingredients, there's a lot of different variables, a lot of different feelings, there's a lot of different emotions going into this massive release in World Wrestling Entertainment. But here on Sean View Entertainment, we clue you in on the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most significant, and the hottest in WWE news, rumors, and headlines. Because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. Remember, it's so important to become a channel member today. And on top of that, we got some great news. The WWE SmackDown viewership held steady for the April 12th episode. It was a sold-out show, and the ratings signified 2.357 million viewers, which is the same compared to last week's show, which is ginormous and huge. Also, ladies and gentlemen, fresh and true for all of you that are watching. Listen to this remarkable update. With WWE's longest-running employee, Sue being released from the company, Maxine Dupree is now hitting back at Candice LeRae for calling her a talentless hot dog. Also, John Cena is now revealing his precaution that he took to deal with his bold spot at WrestleMania 40 because it is no secret about that. And Jack Perry used multiple CM Punk references during his NJPW riot match. And Damian Priest aimed for the perfect timing in his money in the bank cash in. That coming from the new WWE World Champion on Monday Night Raw, Damian Priest. We serve you up with the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most significant. Sean View Entertainment is your excellence in entertainment. 
Click the bell and subscribe today for hourly content. Later.